Hello, everybody! It is me, Takoriyashi, your palm tree friend. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody is doing well. Well, here we are with the new gotcha we have got on the JP version of the game. It is Halloween Tomo, which was a bit of a surprise. Nobody was really expecting this. Now, if you look at the candidates who we was potentially expecting and didn't get, there is Vikala, who is the Grand Blue Fantasy collab character that was part of the first celebration banner that we got just before this, the, the Warlock Jita. She never came at the moment. There's Pirate Ant and Pirate Shinobu, who are getting their unique equipment. And their story event is coming back on the 16th. Which, as you can see, is the day when this banner goes away. This banner is only here for five days. The other potential for a banner was Moimi, the Prefest Moimi, who's getting here six star. None of those have been given a banner just now. Instead, we get Halloween Tomo. Now, we have I've read that Vikala will be coming. Highly anticipated to be coming this month. So maybe she'll be next. Maybe it'll be the Pirates. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, at the moment we have Halloween Tomo. So, for all of you who are JP refugees here, uh, refugees over to the JP from the EN, and um, anyone else who doesn't have it wants to see what she does, well, let's go in and have a look. We have Halloween Tomo, who has a union, union burst. Her first union burst here, Mikuma style Night Slash. Now I had a little bit of trouble with Mikuma. Mikuma is a, a Japanese warship in World War II. So I was thinking, what is this character related to that? Mm, well, probably not because they're saying name's Mikuma. It turns out she is Mikuma Tomo. So, anyway, this Union Burst inflicts great physical damage to the first enemy. It greatly increases physical attack power of itself and the ally with the highest physical attack and it can be buffed up to seven times depending on Tomo's attack power. So, that must suggest that Tomo buffs her attack power somehow. And she does here with her first skill, Mikuma style swordsmanship, which increases her own physical attack power and deals large physical damage to one enemy in front. It also restores her own TP by a small amount. So, as you can see, you want this skill to be firing off a lot to increase her attack power to increase the strength of her union base. And there is even more good news, because her second skill, Mikumu Flow, happens only once. This happens as soon as she enters the field just once, which means there are less skills in her rotation, her cycle, and her skill 1 will fire off more often than to another character who would have the two skills to cycle around. Which means more buffs, more physical attack, more damage! Anyway, this skill 2 massively increases her own physical attack power and crit rate, as well as one ally with the highest physical attack. So she buffs herself, and she buffs one ally only once, permanent buff, stays on the whole fight, and then this never happens again, and she just keeps rotating a normal attack, a skill 1 and a union base. All sounding rather good. If we look at her EX skill, ever changing, which moderately increases her physical attack power at 5 stars, greatly raises her physical attack power. Now, here we are, Halloween Tomo. She is, I would say she was a decent unit. A lot of people, or some people, maybe say she's not that good. She has definitely been power crept by the original Tomo at 6 star. But should you summon for her now? This banner, 5 days, limited character. She is a limited character. But I have also seen sources say that her banner should be coming back again just before Halloween. Because that's when she should be getting her unique equipment. She, as far as I am aware, there is no unique equipment coming with Tomo here. So, you could just wait until a unique equipment comes out, see whether that actually makes her irrelevant again, meta again, and then summon for her, and save your stones now for other things. As you have been, as we have seen, there 
Nicarlo will be coming out. We're still waiting for another pre-fest and the summer banners should soon be uh, returning as well. It's May now and we're going into summer. So this banner is probably one that you should skip and wait. That being said, she probably will be helpful in some comps and some teams if you don't have many. If you really love Tomo, and I'm quite a big Tomo fan, I like Tomo, but even I think I'll be saving my stones, my gemsies, and waiting for other banners to come, like Summer Saren, and we'll see what Vicarla does. Maybe she will be a must-have unit, and for the next Prefest banner. Anyway, there we go. That was a look over there, over at Halloween Tomo, for anybody who wanted just to see what she does. And I will be seeing you all again for another video. Let me know if you decided to summon for her, if you got it quickly. Hope, you, <laughs> hope that the look is there. And I will see you all again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 bye.